Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Marriage Hall Booking System. And I have developed this project in Java, JSP, and MySQL. The version for the Java JDK I am using is the JDK 1.8. For uh, Tomcat version, I am using Tomcat 7. But if you have the Tomcat 8 or 9, then you can also configure this project on Tomcat 8 or 9. Also, if you are using the Eclipse or Nedmins, then you can also uh, configure this project on Eclipse and Nedmins also. But it must have a Tomcat server. I have never tested this project in any of the Classfish servers, right? So Tomcat is mandatory for running this project. Okay. So this is all about the backend technology and the IDs which I am using for running this project. One more thing, I am using the MySQL version 5.6 for connecting the database of the MySQL with Java. I am using the MySQL Java connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. Right. So this is all about the technology, uh, backend technology, which I have used for fronting. I'm using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like uh, calendar plugins, integration of the drop down menus or uh, form validations. I have used the jQuery plugins, right? This is also a bootstrap theme, also uh, a partially responsive theme means if you uh, skin size increase, then the UI will not be distorted, right? So this is all about the technology which I have used to develop this project, right? So let's start with the functionality go through which I have developed in this project, right? So the project title is Marriage Hall Booking System. And uh, as I know, uh, I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. And it's a mini project which has only and only customer functionality. There is no admin functionality available in this project because it's a mini project which has only and only customer functionality. Okay, so let's start with the functionality go through. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple and slower home page. And this is all of the marriage halls coming on the home page and it's coming from the database. So it's a fully dynamic page. And this all uh, information is coming from the database. If you click on the marriage hall, then you will be able to see all of the details of that marriage hall right and these all details are coming from the database if you click on the submit booking then there is a restriction in the project without login inside the system you will not be able to book any of the marriage hall right so i am logging as a customer so, uh, i think so that is and the password is test to so the user is amit at gmail.com and the password is test right so now again i am going right if i'm clicking on this and submit booking request then it will ask the details of the name and the email id you can enter anything and the contact number and the booking requirements okay need to book for my birthday right and click on the update booking site once you click on this then you will get a message your booking has been scheduled successfully and your booking id is 9 right so this is the home page right from where you will have made the booking let me go through one by one so this is a home page and this is the booking details this is the about us about us and if you want to change the content then you will be able to change the content from the gsp page this is marriage halls all of the marriage halls which is available in the database will be displayed here and if you click on any of the so this is the filter if you want to search in in ever in your area then you will be able to search it in your area by clicking on this right this is customer login from where you will be able to log in this is the registration if you don't have the user id and password then you will be able to register in the website website and after that from that user id and password you will be able to log in right this is the contact us from where you will be able to submit your contact request, but I'm not saving the data of this contact as well. The contact us is anywhere into the database, right? Now comes on the customer login page. The username is Amit at the red gmail.com and the password is test. So this is the dashboard, right? So customer dashboard. So what the customer can see? Customer can see all of the marriage holes. So this page I'll, I have already explained you this is the my request all of the request which has been made by the customer will be displayed here and if you click on the view details you will be able to see all of the booking details here right this is the my account section from where customer will be able to update his account details 
right and that record will be updated into the database also okay so this is all about the project which i have developed uh, th this is all about the functionality which i have to develop in marriage hall system okay so this as i told you earlier this is a mini project which has only and only customer functionality there is no admin login inside this project because it's a mini project right one more thing i want to show you the above administration menu will only be displayed if you log in means if customer logins if you click out if you click on logout then above menu will be different right so the above menu is totally session driven and it's coming according to the customers customers uh, login session level right so this is all about the project which i have developed and if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements right so and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much